With the release of version 7, we improved the auto router and enhanced it in order for it to be able to leverage multi-core hardware. So let's view this for a moment. Let's click on the auto router icon. You'll see that there's several new options relative to how the auto router was in previous releases of Eagle. For example, we now have an effort parameter, which basically dictates how many routing variants are going to be run at the same time. We have low, medium, or high. Um, for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to stick to low. We have an auto grid selection checkbox. If it's unchecked, as a user, you can define what the grid is going to be across all of the routing variants. Let's leave it to auto for now. And then we have this option of variant with top router. So what this means is with the release of version 7, besides leveraging multi-core hardware, we added a new algorithm on top of our old one, which we call the top router. This algorithm is far more sophisticated. It uses the concept of Voronoi diagrams to try to discover the optimum paths for routing. Those optimum paths basically serve as a sketch, which is then given as a basis to our old auto router algorithm. In general, the result is more aesthetically pleasing and with lower via counts. The final option we want to look at here is the maximum number of running threads, and this is where the multi core support comes in. In the case of this computer, I have a quad core processor, so my maximum number of running threads to per processor is 8. So at any given point in time, I can have eight routing variants running at the same time. So the way this works is, it's not that you're running the same outer router pass eight times faster, but rather within the same amount of time, the outer router can run eight different configurations. You can try eight different setups, each one giving you a different result. At the end, you can select which one you like best. So let's go ahead and click Continue. And right now we have three. I could add more. I can individually adjust these also. So if I click here on the double greater than sign, I can see all of the different cost factors depending on the variant. And we can start seeing some differences in general. We see routing grid variations. And we see preferred direction variations. However, others can become active depending on the level of effort that we put. We, as you can see, we can duplicate routing variants and adjust the duplicates. We can remove them. We have complete control over how our routing variants are configured. I'm going to leave these as is, and we're just going to go ahead and hit Start. And as we can see, that ran very quickly. And we can see the different variants and their results. So by clicking, I can very easily, very quickly, have a general idea. Now, in the case of this board, it's very small so it's easy to see everything at once but let's say I, w I had a bigger board or I wanted to zoom in on a specific section what we can do is click evaluate and what's going to happen is now I'm allowed to roam check the different corners make sure how the variant looks and if I'm happy with it I can choose to keep it or I can choose to go back to the other variants and select another one for review and the way we do that is if we go down here to the right we can select the outer router job pending icon we click it We'll get this window here. We can say end job to keep this one or evaluate to select another one. Let's say I like the results of the top router best for whatever reason. Let's go ahead and hit end job. And now this is the one that sticks. This is just one of the many new features we added with the version 7 release. Thank you for your time.